The Gospel of Matthew is intricately woven with threads of history, prophecy, and divine revelation. It weaves together the story of Jesus, the central figure of Christianity, in a way that is both profound and accessible. It shows us that Jesus is the Messiah, the Anointed One, sent by God to save humanity. He is the King we've been waiting for, the fulfillment of ancient prophecies, and the hope of generations. Matthew wrote this Gospel with a clear purpose. He wanted to share the good news about Jesus, to tell the world about the Savior who had come to redeem us. He wanted everyone to know Jesus is the Son of God, the divine being who walked among us and taught us the ways of the kingdom of heaven. Matthew carefully shows us Jesus' family history, tracing his lineage through the generations. He goes all the way back to Abraham, the father of the Jewish nation, establishing a connection to the promises made by God. He goes back to King David, the revered king of Israel, highlighting Jesus' royal heritage. This is important. It proves Jesus is the rightful heir to the throne, the king who was prophesied to come. He is the king. He will rule with peace and love, bringing a new era of righteousness and justice. This gospel is exciting. It's full of Jesus' amazing life, filled with miracles that demonstrate his divine power and compassion. We learn from his teaching, gaining wisdom and insight into the nature of God and his kingdom. And we are amazed by his great love, a love that reaches out to the marginalized, the broken, and the lost. Matthew invites us to know Jesus, to enter into a relationship with him and experience the transformative power of his grace. He wants us to experience God's amazing grace, to be enveloped in the love and mercy that Jesus offers to all who believe. Through this gospel, we are called to follow Jesus, to live out his teachings, and to share his message of hope and salvation with the world. As a tax collector, Matthew had a valuable skill that adds depth to his writing for Christians. Tax collectors were trained in a form of shorthand, allowing them to capture a person's words as they were spoken, almost verbatim. This means that Matthew's gospel, while inspired by the Holy Spirit, also likely reflects a precise record of Jesus' teachings. For instance, the Sermon on the Mount, found in chapters 5-7, is believed to be an accurate account of Christ's message. Matthew's ability to document words faithfully makes his gospel even more compelling. Matthew, as an apostle, likely wrote his gospel between A.D. 55, 65 during the early years of the church. At this time, many Christians were Jewish converts, which explains why his gospel focuses heavily on a Jewish perspective. Matthew's primary goal is to demonstrate to the Jews that Jesus is the promised Messiah. His gospel frequently references the Old Testament to show how Jesus fulfilled the prophecies of the Jewish prophets. He carefully traces Jesus' lineage back to King David and uses language familiar to Jewish readers. Matthew's deep care for his people is evident in his thoughtful and detailed presentation of the gospel. Matthew's primary goal is to present Jesus Christ as the King and Messiah of Israel, and he emphasizes this by referencing the Old Testament more than the other gospel writers. Throughout his gospel, Matthew highlights over 60 instances where Jesus fulfilled specific prophecies. He begins by tracing Jesus' lineage back to Abraham, establishing his connection to the Jewish heritage. From there, Matthew frequently refers to the words of the prophets using phrases like, as was spoken through the prophet. These references include key moments in Jesus' life, such as his birth, ministry, and significant events that align with the expectations set by ancient prophecies, showing how Jesus fulfills them perfectly. The Gospel of Matthew serves as a great introduction to the fundamental teachings of Christianity. Its clear, structured format makes it easy to navigate and find discussions on different subjects. This Gospel is particularly valuable for understanding how Christ's life fulfilled the prophecies of the Old Testament. Matthew wrote his Gospel for his fellow Jews, many of whom, especially the Pharisees and Sadducees, refused to accept Jesus as their Messiah. Despite their deep study of the Old Testament, they were blind to the truth of who Jesus really was. Jesus rebuked them for their hardened hearts and unwillingness to recognize the very one they had been waiting for. They wanted a Messiah on their terms, one who fulfilled their personal desires. How often do we approach God in the same way? Don't we sometimes limit him to qualities we find comforting like love and grace, while ignoring aspects such as his justice and holiness? Like the Pharisees, we risk creating a version of God that aligns with our preferences, essentially making him into an idol. The Bible reveals enough about God's true nature to inspire both our worship and obedience.